Next up on WTV. Homecoming themes, this week's edition of Real because Talk, and today sports. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey, Denver Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, September 15th, and I'm Karina Groska with this day's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Today is the last day of college week. Today marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month, and tomorrow there is a celebratory festival at the Preston Trail Church from 2 to 8 p.m. However, what do events such as these represent for life on campus? WTV's Aditi Shaw has the details. Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates the achievements of Hispanic Americans and the beauty of Hispanic culture. It's very important, as it is with any culture, um, to spread knowledge, awareness, appreci appreciation. Um, allows people to get to know more about the culture. With the Hispanic culture in particular, it's such an actually diverse culture. Like, there's tons of diversity. Um, within the different Spanish-speaking countries, and I think that's important to spread too. Sophomore Anna Ortiz Lagarda thinks the celebration of Hispanic heritage is necessary due to the Hispanic representation in America. Now that we have like this representation of a lot of Hispanics in the U.S. nowadays, uh, I think it's like nice to be able to know that where they came from, and then we should like celebrate it because it's our culture. Hispanic Heritage Month ends on October 15th. Reporting for WTV, I am Aditi Shah. From wearing green to Wacky Wednesday, dress-up days are in full effect for College Week. And with homecoming next week, there is a whole new set of dress-up days. WTV's Haley Johnson has more information. The homecoming football game is on Thursday, and the dance is on Saturday. But Monday through Friday is all about dress-up theme days. On Monday, go back to the 70s and get groovy. Tuesday is all about the 80s. Wednesday is a flashback to the 90s. Thursday is Mums and Garters Day or School Spirit Day. And on Friday, it's a trip into the future. Reporting for WTV, I'm Haley Johnson. This week is College Week, and WTV is sitting down with teachers on campus to hear about their college experience. Today, Kevin Burke is talking about Brigham Young University. Hi, my name's Mr. Burke. I'm uh, the sale teacher and I went to Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. BYU is a unique school because it's a private university that's uh, a religious university, so unlike other campuses, you have to take some classes, uh, religion classes and other things that kind of help to balance out the uh, your regular school work. Um, I, I chose BYU because uh, number one it was cost effective and uh, number two it was it's just a beautiful campus um, set in the Wasatch Mountains and um, they have a great balance of, of things to do outside of the university. Um, they have great uh, educational programs um, and their sports teams and all are, are pretty, pretty fun to watch as well. I was a unique uh, student because I went to college as a 30 year old so I was married and had three kids and so probably one of my favorite memories was uh, the first football game that I went to on campus. Um, I rode a bike to it and I had one of my kids in a, in a little baby seat and the other two in a trailer behind me and my wife was riding a bike uh, behind us. So it was a very unique experience for me but certainly one that I, that I treasure. On the sixth edition of Real Talk, WTV's Natalia Soto asks students about college. Hey there, Red Hawks. I'm Natalia Soto with another edition of Real Talk, and today I'm going to be asking students about college. Do you think you're going to go to college or pursue something else? So I think I'm going to go to college, uh, University of Arkansas. Uh, I think it's good to go to college. Uh, it's good for your future. You can do a lot with it, um, even if you do go. Um, there's just a lot you can do with it. It's, it's a good thing. I'm going to go to college. Why? Because college is a fun experience. And uh, going to OU, Bloomer Center. Yes, yeah, something about going to college. 
Why? Because I feel like you have to hire your education to pursue like bigger things in your life. What's your dream college to go to and why? Oklahoma University. Uh, because it's party school. I've been like in Oklahoma since I was eight and my, all my friends are going to go there. So. My dream college is probably UT because it's just very big and it looks very welcoming and their volleyball team is so fun to watch so yeah. Probably the University of Arkansas you know I obviously want to go for the college experience but I also want to get that degree and uh, pursue something in a professional career. What is the most exciting thing about going to college? Probably living by yourself and like having like your own experiences and meeting new people. Definitely meeting a lot of new people probably, um, going to the football games and just enjoying yourself, especially when you're not here, um, away from your parents and everything, so yeah. The parties, uh, meeting people, you know, it's a good day when you go to college, so yeah. Do you think going to college is important? Yes and no. I mean, you can be successful without college, but that's really hard to do, especially today, um, with a lot of jobs requiring degrees. Um, it's definitely a thing you should go and do, even if you don't have the money. I think it depends on what you want to do. I know that people I know haven't gone to college and they're pretty successful. So it just depends what you want to do with your future. Yes, because you need to, you need to study and uh, you need to learn about other things. But some people don't go to college and they become rich. So, yeah. Reporting for WTV, I'm Natalia Soto. On today's sports, WTV's Brian Shapiro brings you a recap on football and a preview on volleyball. Tennis visited Emerson on Tuesday. The Red Hawks would leave, getting a big win, 11-8, to improve their district record to 3-1. The Red Hawks will take on Walnut Grove next Tuesday at 4 p.m. at Walnut Grove. Volleyball played Heritage on Tuesday. The Red Hawks would leave with a dominant win, never giving up the lead and winning 3-0. We had a really good win last night. Um, we followed our scouting report really well, and we never gave up the lead. With a tough opponent coming in tonight, Fasiano believes the team is more excited for this game. Um, we're definitely feeling more excited than we are nervous um, because we've been working really hard in practice, working to defend what Memorial is good at. So we're feeling really prepared and ready for what they have for us. Coming away with a big win tonight could set the Red Hawks up for success later on in the season. Um, a win against Memorial will definitely be a huge deal because they're one of our top opponents in our district and then it will also intimidate other teams that we will play in the future. The game will start at 5.30 p.m. at the Nest. Football took on Heritage last night. The Red Hawks would lose 37-14. They'll look to get an upset over Reedy next Thursday night at 7 p.m. at Ford. Cross Country will head down to Lovejoy this weekend to compete in the Lovejoy XC Invitational. After placing in the top five in the first two meets, senior Sydney Wilkins feels confident heading into Saturday. Um, this weekend, my expectations are to do pretty well. I did really good on this course last year, um, so I'm hoping to PR and be in that top ten. Reporting for WTV, I'm Ryan Shapiro. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award wing website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Interested in participating in various computer science competitions, creating projects with others interested in CS, and learning about topics ranging from beginner to CS3? Join us for our first meeting in the lecture hall, C100, during advisory on September 19th, and sign up for the remind at LHSCSC23. Interested in joining the Quantum Computing Club? Dive into the future and unravel the mysteries of the quantum world. Meetings start on Thursday during advisory in Ms. Rittenhouse's room C224. Get more details by joining the Remind at LHS Quantum and attend our booth during the club fair. Free snacks and candy will be provided. Key Club is having its first meeting today in the auditorium. There are two times, 8.20 a.m. and during advisory. Members slash people interested in joining only have to attend one meeting. Come if you are interested in serving our community through volunteer work and anyone is welcome to join. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Gorska for Wingspan TV.